to another episode of this cat problem solving tips and tricks by me Arun Sharma. In this session, I have picked up a question that appeared in 2008. And the question is something that you can see here. The question says that we have to find the sum of this expression. The expression is under root 1 plus 1 by 1 square plus 1 by 2 square plus under root 1, 1 plus 1 by 2 square plus 1 by 3 square plus these terms continue till under root 1 plus 1 by 2007 square plus 1 by 2008 square. And we have five options. And we have to choose which one will be the right answer for this. Now, as some of you would realize, especially those of you who have done your studies for engineering entrance exams and also done your engineering uh, courses or, or higher maths courses, you would realize that these are questions which uh, require you to, do, to go through a lot of uh, mathematical uh, processes before you get to an answer where you can simplify something like this into this but uh, when you are talking about doing this in the CAD those processes are not feasible because they will take you a long time to do and hence you need a shorter and a faster way of thinking inside this problem and what is that? let me show you this so when you read this question the first thing you realize is that this is a question based on a pattern because you can clearly see the first thing you can see in this question is that this number 1, 2, 2007 it's acting like a counter for this question it's counting how many terms there are in this and when you start counting the number of terms in this you realize that this has got 2007 terms and when you realize that the value of n the number of terms here is 2007 and then you look at the options you realize that the first option 2008 minus 1 by 2008 is giving us nothing but n plus 1 minus 1 by n plus 1 likewise the second option with 2007 is n will become n minus 1 by n plus 1 and so on because obviously these answers have to do something with the number of terms in this question so once you realize that you can do something which is really convenient and very quick you could try to see that okay what if I take only one term of this equation of this expression and I take n as 1 if I take only one term I get the value of this sum of this expression only as this value and I can calculate the value of this and try to see with n as 1 which option matches it so the first step then in this question we solving is to look at what value comes out for this expression so if you solve this you have 1 plus 1 by 1 plus 1 by 4 and it's all under root if you take your uh, LCMs, 4 is the LCM here and you have uh, 4 plus 4 plus 1 this value is basically 9 by 4 which gives you a value of 3 by 2 that's the square root of the first term now with n is 1 the first option 2008 will mean n plus 1 the first option is 2 minus 1 by 2 because this is n plus 1 minus 1 by n plus 1 if you remember 2 minus 1 by 2 does give me 3 by 2 now just because 2 minus 1 by 2 will be 3 by 2, I will not jump to an answer because there could be other option that can also give me 3 by 2 here because we have not used any mathematical logic in solving this, we are just solving this in values so sometimes the question center does trap you in these questions by giving you a wrong answer which will give you the same answer, same value that you have taken hence you need to check all the 5 options and only when you realize that this is the only option that gives you that answer can you conclude that this is the correct answer if you go to the second option with n is 2007 this option uh, with n is 2007 uh, this uh, is 2007 the second option represents one n minus 1 by n and if you use n minus 1 by n here with n is 1 this is 1 minus 1 by 1 which is 0 and that basically does nothing but remove the second option as a possible option the third option is 2007 minus 1 by 2008 which translates to n minus 1 by n plus 1 with n is 1 this becomes 1 minus 1 by 2 which is only 1 by 2 which is not equal to 3 by 2 and this is the third option gets rejected you go to the fourth option n plus 1 minus 1 by n which means 2 minus 1 1 by 1 that is which is giving me 1 and this is not matching the value I got for one, for one term in this expression hence the fourth option is gone and the fifth option 
is 2008 minus 1 by 2009 for n 2007 this represents n plus 1 minus 1 by n plus 2 with n is 1 this comes out as 2 minus 1 by 3 and uh, that obviously you can see is not equal to 3 by 2 and hence because options b, c, d and e are getting rejected only option a stands and it has to be the correct answer right now some of you might ask me what code would we do in case there are two answers that gave 3 by 2 then obviously we will have to go to one more term and try to see it, uh, the, the value of the expression at a, at a certain number of terms at which those two options start differing from each other so some, somewhere down the line you will you'll normally with two or three values at max you will be able to find that term or find the value where only one of the options stands and you will get an answer CAT, is, uh, CAT has a very strong uh, tendency to give questions like this and these are the 100 percentile ways of solving these questions because as I said at the start and as you can well imagine if you try to solve this mathematically you have gone for 3 to 5 minutes and uh, it kind of completely destabilizes inside the, inside the test this solution that I showed you is a 30 second solution here you get the correct answer 100 percent correct as an answer within the first 30 to 45 seconds of solving this question look out for more keep, keep watching keep subscribing and keep recommending these videos thanks a lot